So I'm here at the 150th Open, and where else better than the home of golf, St Andrews. And there's only one way to experience this incredible major, but with golf breaks. So this morning we're with the lovely Dolores. You're doing a fantastic job. Talk me through your morning. So we're loading these buses full of very happy, excited clients going to the 150th Open. It's Saturday, these guys arrived last night and they're really, really excited. You and the team are doing a fantastic job. Keep it up. So you're good. It's all right. If you just head over there, they're going to start loading. I think it might be the second coach. Okay. And, but have a fantastic day. Enjoy. Lots of pictures. And as you can see, all the ladies and gentlemen are walking over. Mark is ushering them on the coach to their final destination, St Andrews. So everyone's excited, packed on the coaches. It couldn't have run any smoother. The team at Golf Break's done a fantastic job. It's open time. So this morning, we're catching up with Jamie and Christy, our friends from across the pond. What part of America are you guys from? Yes, sir, we're from Boomer, North Carolina. Lovely. Yeah. I would just like to say thank you for bringing the sun over with you. It's um, helped us out a lot. Yes, we were expecting rain, but hey, it's great. It's awesome. Perfect. We don't really get a lot of sun in Scotland, so thanks for that. Who are you excited to see today? Well, I'm here to see uh, Harold Varner, Jr. He's out of Gastonia, North Carolina, so we're looking for him. Oh, amazing. And how have you found your experience with golf breaks? It's been absolutely fabulous. Uh, everybody's been so very hospitable, uh, very thankful, blessed to be here. It's been awesome, awesome experience. You can't get much better than that. Enjoy your day, sir. Yeah, thank you. We've just pulled into the open. The sun is shining. It's literally perfect conditions. I'm trying to contain my excitement. It's open time. Let's go. So I'm with Stephen today. Where are you from, Stephen? I'm from New York. Amazing. And who are you excited to watch today? Um, Cam Smith. Cam, Cam Smith. Yeah. He's a great golfer. He's playing he is, well. He is playing very well. And how have you found your golf breaks experience it's, so far? It's been incredible. Travel was a bit tough, but as soon as we got here, it's been it's been amazing. That's all we want to hear. Absolutely. Have a great day, my Thank friend. Thank you so much. Take care. This is it. We're at the entrance of the open. The crowds are piling in. It's going to be a good day. Now we're in the game zone tent. Great for kids or if you're a big kid like me. So putting competition, long drive competitions, chipping competitions, and it's great to get out the St. Andrew Sun. So we're here at the tented village. It's got everything you need from the golf zone to the golf shop and to where everyone hangs out the beer tent. So behind us is the MasterCard tent. And if you're lucky enough to have a MasterCard, you can come in here and have a few nice beverages. Now that is priceless. Just okay. caught up with this very dapper man. What's your name and where you come from, sir? Mark from uh, Houston, Texas. That's a long way. Thank you for coming over. How are you enjoying the 150 open experience? It's been unbelievable so far. Being able to see Tiger yesterday, seeing all the young guns, it's just super. And you just said you booked through golf breaks. How's your golf breaks experience been? Fantastic. We're going to Kiowa for a week. Yeah. And the uh, experience with golf breaks was awesome. It, they took care of everything. One phone call, a guy said, I'll get back to you. Got back with tea times, lodging, got everything sorted. It was unbelievable. Well, you can't get much better than that, can you? Yeah. Can I just say, you look dapper. Best dressed man in the open. God bless you. Cheers. Thank you. So we've just been given backstage access to the Callaway trucks. This is where the Spartans come to collect their weaponry, sharpen their tools to go to war out in the fields of St. Andrews. Let's go and check it out. So we're here at the Callaway truck and this is where the magic happens. So we've got Paul over here. How are we doing? Nice to meet you, Paul. And you? Can you tell me a little bit what you'll be doing today? Uh, today, well, I mean, on a Saturday at a major championship, really just here just in case something drastic goes wrong, which generally doesn't. So all the work's been done at the start of the week, practice rounds, dialing their equipment in to marry up with the conditions of the course. So anyone that's, if anyone breaks a club or anything like that, or they need new tools for the job, you're the man, they come and see you and you fit their shafts, grips, etc. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, them. we kind of maintain their equipment and customise it to suit to certain conditions. And then outside of that, just really service it to make sure loft and lies are what they are, the grips are nice and fresh and everything is as it should be. So does that, with a Lynx course, do you have to, I mean, adapt the clubs differently as it's a harder ground 
and everything like that. Yeah, definitely. So we change bounces on wedges so we can grind bounce off and you know customize the wedges to match up with turf conditions, ground hardness, sand conditions. And then at the other end of the bag is just darting lofts in for you know driver lofts, maybe you know if it gets really windy, which is I'm not sure it's gonna pick up, maybe pick up later, but down in lofts or draw building stronger three woods. So you've got an important job then, Paul. You've got to keep it all together. <laughs> yeah. But you're the man for the job. Thank you so much for your all time. Right. Anytime. Really appreciate that. So we've just been granted access into the range. All the pros are warming up. We've got Henrik Stenson to the left and Marcus Armitage right in front of us. And I can't see a bad shot being hit. They are absolutely pure in every shot. Unbelievable. What an experience. So we're on the range, walking past, and walking past one of my favourite golfers, Justin Thomas. You see this guy, this guy can nail one. So a shot like this is absolutely key on a course like this. He's got a little wedge out, a little bump and run. And uh, with a little bit of check, he'd be nipping these all day. But these guys don't hit any range balls. Only the best, Pro V1Xs, Pro V1s, Bridgestones everything and they're the actual proper ball not bad to practice eh and we come to the most important part of the day the open arms you don't need that darling and if you're getting your steps in and your legs are starting to ache you sit down on the bean bags and watch the open on the big screen and we've got justin thomas coming up the 17th reaching the 18th and you can't get a more picturesque finish than that. The 18th of St Andrews. And it's not about just inside the open. Outside is electric too. St Andrews town is unbelievable. Behind me, the famous Dunvegan pub. The open, the sun is shining. It doesn't get much better than this. So the 150th open has come to an end, but the fun ain't over. The golf breaks party is just about to begin. I've just dusted off my dancing boots. See you in a bit. Thank you for watching. And if you want more of that inspirational Golf Breaks content, please make sure you subscribe and get that bell ring.